Yeah, hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we'll see the anti-estrogen. Estrogens, I have completed one video, just you watch it. After that, you come to this video because it is an anti-estrogen serums, S-C-R-M-S, -S, selective estrogen receptor modulator, SEMS, aromatase inhibitors. Here, uh, four uh, uh, different phases of the estrogen that we are going to four different parts of the estrogen. See, first estrogen I have completed, natural estrogen, synthetic estrogen, uh, that tunnel I have completed in the video, my past video. In this video, we'll complete all the remaining three parts. Anti-estrogen, which works against the estrogen, is called as an anti-estrogen. Clomiphene citrate, full western, full western, full western, like that you can remember. Clomiphene citrate. Next is, so it works against the anti-estrogen. Aromatase inhibitors, it stops the synthesis of the estrogen. So synthesis, estrogen will not be there in the body. Estrogen will not be synthesized in the body. Okay. And uh, so that there is no effects of estrogen. Serums having a dual role, a very wonderful role, like a tamoxifen, raloxifen, number of times it was appeared in a competitive examination that we are going to be seeing. It is having a dual action serums. It is having an agonist property of estrogen, antagonist property of estrogen also, both. Okay, that point you have to keep in your mind very strongly, strong, fix, fix, fix. Okay. And this is the syllabus, unit 5 as per your uh, university. Here read uh, the point which I highlighted with the reading, that is uh, your syllabus, estrogen. Okay. First, we will see anti-estrogen. Uh, detail, all three sections we will see in detail. One by one, we will see anti-estrogen, which works against the estrogen. So, clomiphene citrate, first one, tablets is available. See here, uh, from Aventis company, very famous company, clomid, it is available, clomiphene citrate, anti-estrogen. Whenever in the body, in the female's body or in the male body, excess estrogen is there, then you have to take this uh, tablets. Excess estrogen, because it is doing some extra function, unnecessary uh, estrogen, if it's there, excess, then you have to take this tablet. It acts as a pure antagonist in all the human tissues, not only male, the female also, both. It binds to both estrogen receptor. E ER alpha is there, ER beta is there. Two types of receptors are there. It ha it got a two isomers. Which one? This clomiphene citrate. Giclomiphene, enclopiphene. These are the two isomers. One is cis isomer, trans isomer. Cis, same side. Trans, opposite side. Cis means same. Trans means against. One is above, one below like that. Some groups will be changed. Pharmacokinetics, it is well absorbed uh, orally. Orally, you can be take. Okay, it deposited in the adipose tissue, fat tissue. Adipose tissue is nothing but a fat tissue. So it go and deposits in the fat. Long half life, six days. Once you take a tablet, six days need not to be taken. That much of long half life. So weekly one tablet like that you can keep in your mind. Largely metabolized and excreted in the bile also. Bile, bile secretion. And indications, when you have to take this clomiphene citrate, clomiphene citrate indication when you have to take. Infertility due to the failure of ovulation. When ovulation is failure, see here, reproductive system is not working because of, uh, in such a case, you can give that clomiphene. Because excess estrogen will fail the pregnancy. Excess estrogen. Normal estrogen is enough. For, it favors the pregnancy. Excess estrogen, dangerous. It acts like a contraceptive. Okay, in such a case, you can be given. To aid the in vitro fertilization, see here in vitro, that is in the test tube in the petri plate, how the sperm is coming and uh, entering into the egg, see here. In vitro, in vitro fertilization. Okay. And also, it is also useful in the oligojuspermia. Oligospermia means less sperm count down in the male. 
See here, this is a normal sperm. This is a oligosperm. Less spermatozoa in the male. In such a case, you can give this drug, clomiphene citrate. Anti-estrogen. One more drug is there. Full western, full western like that. It is a seven alpha alkyl uh, derivative. It is also known as a is very very important. Second point: selective estrogen receptor down regulator. Down. It downs the regulation of the. Okay, mechanism of action is there. That is, it binds with the estrogen receptor, dimerization of the estrogen receptor, so that estrogen receptor will become a weak. It doesn't uh, uh, interact with the estrogen because dimerization of estrogen receptor will be takes place. This is the this is indication. See, when you have to give this drug, means generally in the breast cancer, doctors are prescribing tamoxifen. See, sometimes after if he, if the patient is using for breast cancer tamoxifen for a longer time, after one year or two years it doesn't work. Tamoxifen resistance will come. In such a cases, this drug is full strand. You have to take. Okay, injection is available. See, this is the injection, two fifty mg monthly IM injection only monthly. See here, very good, no monthly, and the serums. Now we will come to the serums. selective estrogen receptor modulator see the serums are very important it is having a dual action it works as a estrogen it works against the estrogen also it's a very interesting one see keep in your mind estrogen will do good for our body and also estrogen will do bad for our body both whenever estrogen will do good for the serums will do a will encourage that estrogen whenever estrogen will do bad the serums will again as to the estrogen okay overall serums are good that point you have to keep in mind final goal of serum is body benefits it works against it works agonists select uh, serums here you can see that this is the goal this here i have explained uh, i wrote the same point it produces the uh, beneficial estrogen effect it produces beneficial estrogen effect in certain tissue whereas uh, it producing antagonist activity in the tissue such as a breast endometrium whereas a estrogenic acts may be harmful when estrogen is harmful the serum will help you okay when estrogen is good serums also will help you however both finally default program serums are good default program this is the thing how it action see co repressor it suppresses the estrogen receptor these are the that's why estrogen receptor will become inactive here see co activators it activates the estrogen so estrogen receptor will become active see this inactive estrogen receptor will become active active estrogen receptor will become inactive due to the serums that is agonists or antagonists see here this serums will do make it mix of both so that's why i shown the bo both color it becomes a partial partially active partially inactive like that these serums will convert either active receptor inactive receptor finally it become a optimized receptor partially active partially inactive okay and uh, here finally you will get inactive er active er okay like that it uh, modifies tamoxifen citrate it is a non steroidal compound tamoxifen it acts as a anti it is a very good tamoxifen see it works as a antagonist breast carcinoma cells and blood vessels that's why this is a good agonist uterus cancer bone liver pituitary in such a case it acts as a agonist whereas it do good tamoxifen will do a good for uh, it stops the breast cancer estrogen will cause is a breast cancer tamoxifen will stops the breast cancer okay and uh, here what are the tamoxifen citrate uh, estrogenic action decreases in total ldl uh, improvement of bone mass very good bone mass because estrogen will reduces bone mass whereas uh, here it, stimulation of uh, endometrial proliferation increased risk of deep vein thrombosis anti estrogenic action this is a tamoxifen pill coated tablets it inhibits the human breast cancer cell that's why it is good heart flushes 
uh, heat from the face is called a hot flushes pharmacokinetic it is effective orally excreted through the bile an indication when this tamoxifen is used primary breast cancer first breast cancer tamoxifen breast cancer tamoxifen it is a one of the biggest problem in indian population indian women breast cancer is now a, it is a leading so that's why tamoxifen is having a bumper cells okay primary breast cancer metastatic breast carcinoma male breast see male breast carcinoma also uh, because it is used in the male breasts that is gynecomastia breast in the male is called a gynecomastia in that case also you can see that's why here i kept the image gynecomastia here this breast development okay gynecomastia in that such a case this drug is very useful some other uses like a mccune albitry syndrome see here okay here i have defined what is a, a mccune albitry it affects the bone skin and serial hormones and all this is the tamoxifen and uh, cancer see here this is the estrogen see my cursor this is a estrogen this is a estrogen receptor so when estrogen will go and binds here it forms a complex so estrogen receptor binds with the coactivators like this okay that's why it becomes a cancer estrogen will give a cancer tamoxifen molecule it go and binds with the estrogen receptor see here how it binds so that it avoids the coactivators see coactivators will not come and joined with the estrogen receptor so that cancer will be stopped see here uterus cancer it is a tamoxifen will give a cancer of the uterus that is a biggest problem biggest problem it stops the breast cancer but it creates the uterus cancer here you can see tamoxifen it binds with the estrogen receptors okay here in the breast cancer it stops the coactivators whereas here it encourages the coactivators to come and join here that is the main problem coactivators will come and attract in the uterus cancer okay whereas in breast cancer coactivators will not come raloxifen it is a non steroidal binding it binding to the both receptors er1 and er2 estrogen agonist bone and cardiovascular system antagonist endometrium here you can see dr reddis is preparing the raloxifen hcl in post menopausal women it is very very important it prevents the bone loss see all the women's after menopause they will become very weak because bones will be lose go on losing 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 calcium in such a case raloxifen is a good okay and these are the same uh, it doesn't uh, alleviate the post menopausal vasomotor symptoms the same running matter side effects of the raloxifen these are the main hot flushes hot flushes means here she is feeling especially in the menopause hot flushes their face will become a heat intense feeling of the heat in the face is called as a hot flushes see this is the side effect hot flushes leg cramps vaginal bleeding increased risk of deep vein thrombosis and uses it is approved in a, a second line agent for the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis okay calcium you have to give regularly and you have to give. generally hot flushes are common in the menopause and aromatase inhibitors see aromatase is a process see here this is a process of aromatization in this process what happened testosterone will be converted into estradiol e2 estradiol this aromatization will be stopped by this aromatase inhibitor see here how ring a undergo a a both are matched ring a aromatization that is also important uh, for that so this aromatization will give the estrogen aromatase inhibitors will prevent the synthesis of estrogen so aromatase inhibitors these are the group of drugs which inhibits the estrogen synthesis aromatization of the ring a of the testosterone is a final step for the production of estrogen same running matter aromatase inhibitors and inactivators mechanism of action see non steroidal steroid is there these are the uh, exemestase these are the example formestane anastrilazole letrozole very important very important names 
it binds to the substrate binding site of aromatase whereas here it binds to heme part of the aromatase it it is a reversible binding it is a irreversible binding steroidal non steroidal sub separately you have to learn the same process cholesterol is a starting material pregnenolone will come that is compulsory progesterone aldosterone see here uh, testosterone estradiol testosterone will be converted like this so whereas the aromatase inhibitors are stopping this here also stopping here also stopping so that estrone estradiol will not be formed example is letrozole tablets is available okay anastrozole tablets is also available which are orally active 100% bioavailability slow metabolism okay half life is 40 hours is there is and more anastrozole is more potent than the letrozole and uh, x mestane is also there see here you can see okay one of the first generation of aromatase inhibitor amino glucothiamide they inhibit the production of the estrogen in all that tissues body tissues wherever fat tissue uterine tissue breast wherever it may be like that it delays the reduction of the early breast cancer okay like that advantages and uh, adverse effects of this uh, thing accelerates the bone loss that is also some problems are there these are the advantages and finally this is a comparison uh, as per your pharmacology tripathi book comparison of the serum with the ais aromatase inhibitors these are the aromatase inhibitor these are the serums tamoxifen we are comparing side by side not much important okay so i end my session here thank you thank you for watching